welcome you all today to our month-long Black History Celebration here at Spiritual Harvest Ministries. During this month of February, at many churches, many businesses, all across the country, as well as here, even in the media, the celebration of Black History is being commemorated. And we're gonna join in with that. So every year during our celebration, we always try to learn something new, something important, something that's gonna be beneficial unto you about our black history or our heritage. Whether it's amazing achievements of black Americans or if it's a legacy of working towards something better. How many of you wanna always do better? Yes. There's always room for growth. You can always advance. This year, we want to work towards something better as African Americans. Many times, we don't give much attention to things like our diet, our exercise, if we do any, our annual visits to the doctor, getting our bodies checked on, as well as our personal health history. We talk about black history. We are black. Yes. We all have a history behind us. Yes, we do. So as this celebration, we're going to focus on black health and wellness. Oh, so please say that with me. Focus on black, black health, health and, and wellness. wellness. Again, black, black health, health and, and wellness. wellness, which would be beneficial to each and every one of us. For the past three years, the world we've lived in has truly tested our resilience of humanity, health, and sur uh, survivability. So throughout the world, no other community has felt this as severely as the black community. We think about COVID has been here. Many of us uh, have lost loved ones. I'm sure everyone in this building knows someone who has not been successful or survived COVID. Yes. Amen. Um, so many things come against us. Look at how our black males are being treated uh, by our police officers who right. have vowed to serve and to protect us. Yes. Right. So we as black people, we have a lot of things that come against us. In 2020, the COVID-19 virus killed one out of every 800 African Americans. These are some good statistics. With black people ages 35 to 40, a little bit past that, but however, you heard the psalmist say the song, millions didn't make it. That's right. But you all were one of the ones who did, because many people are not, didn't make it only to 2023. Yes. This inequality was great among our black men. So during the month long Black History Celebration, our aim is to work towards something better. We're going to take a look at, and I'm just gonna give you a couple of topics of things that we'll be highlighting. Nutrition and the African American diet. Don't we love some good food? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> the disadvantages of African Americans in healthcare. And there are disparities. Yes. Exercise. Why we need to get active. And believe me, you can find the simplest ways to do it. That's right. The key is thinking about it, subconsciously thinking about it and getting into it, doing it. And living healthier without giving up our culture. Yes. Amen. Amen. So these are some of the things that we're going to be hitting on. We hope that you will be excited about joining us each Sunday as we get enlightened on focusing on our black health and wellness. Even though the typical soul food diet is not very healthy, it's possible to make the food healthy without giving up our culture. Amen. Amen. And just because it's good to you, does not mean it's good for them. That's right. And that includes food. Yes, yes. That includes food. Yes. Be sure to join us all this month at Spiritual Harvest. We're celebrating black history at a time, a time to learn, a time to educate, and a time to celebrate. So let's get started. Amen. 
brother, Gene Woodson, known as the father of black history, created the celebration of black accomplishments in 1926. Now, celebrating black history is not just an act of acknowledgement of the past, but a commitment to the future. Black history is American history. Yes, man. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Black history celebrations have always had a thing. The importance of yearly things is to focus the attention on a particular aspect of black culture and experience. I think this year for black history was the national theme for last year's black history. Mm -hmm. You see, we decided to step back in time mm -hmm. right. to that thing mm -hmm. and look at different ways that we can improve wellness yeah. in the black community. Amen. Amen. We need that. Yes, we do. As you know, we as black uh, African Americans, that is, have dietary preferences born with culture and in, uh, influences mm -hmm. and necessity. Just keeping it real. Amen. The preference for a particular type of cuisine called soul food, as Sister uh, Catherine pointed out to you, this has always resulted in various health problems. For African Americans. It's real talk. Yes, man. While the spotlight right now may be on the disadvantages African Americans face while fighting the novel coronavirus, commonly referred to as COVID 19, you know, African Americans are also disadvantage throughout the health care system That's right. when combating other diseases. A lot of it has to do with what we eat and the way we eat it. Yes, yes. Now let's be clear. Moderation is the key. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Because too much of anything <laughs> ain't good for nobody. <laughs> Excuse my profane. <laughs> it's just, that's just the way it is. Amen. Let's unite as a people in this thing for black history. Focus on black health yes. and wellness. Right. We can do this. Yes. We can do this. Yes. Let's learn. Let's educate. Yes. Let's celebrate. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Amen. Yes.
Harvest Ministries, building the spirit man for Christ, one person at a time.